Hi Scorpios, this is Ascended Twin 144K. I'm here to do your general collective read. Um, this goes for Aries, I mean Scorpio. Some of you might be dealing with an Aries, but Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, and South Node. Some of you may have Aries in your chart. I don't know. But um, how the hell is everybody? I hope you've been doing well. I hope you've been taking care of yourself. Um, many prayers and blessings to all of those that are uh, suffering from the coronavirus and those that have been quarantined um, for those who have passed as well. Um, prayers, just love and prayers to all that is experiencing all of this because everyone is in this together, whether we realize this or not. But um, on with your reading. Um, thank you to all of my subscribers who've been rocking with me since day one. Much love, much love on that. And for those who come through just to see what the fuck I'm doing, you know, but you don't subscribe, much love and many blessings to you too. Um, Y'all know I cuss, I talk shit in my videos, so if that offends anybody, please click off now. This is your time to do so, um, because you've already been informed. Also, um, anything you need to know about me and my channel will be listed in the description box, box below the video. So, as we know, time is fluid, so this could be past, present, or future energies. Take what resonates, what doesn't, fuck it. Um... This could be you or your person. This could be energies reversed. This also can be same-sex relationships or energies. And I do um, call out if I um, see any uh, twin flame, divine masculine, divine feminine significators, I will announce it. And if there are any divines that show up in my reading, I call those out as well. So let's get on with it, um, Scorpio. I keep wanting to say Aries. And I know I just did Aries, but fuck, some of y'all could be dealing with an Aries because some of y'all did show up in the Aries reading. So there you go. But um, <clears throat> I'm going to start off with um, a card from the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. This is a new tarot deck that I'm learning. I absolutely love it. Um, this one is the Three of Water. So this actually uh, really... Coincides with your reading, Scorpio. Keywords are satisfaction, pleasure, joy, hopefulness, anticipation, attachment, expectation, disappointment. The key phrases are celebrate your victories, take, take satisfaction from your endeavors, look to the future with anticipation, your success will continue, a rewarding outcome, an exciting future, free yourself of unrealistic expectations, allow the, un the outcome to manifest freely. So that is a message for my Scorpions. <clears throat> so I use the Illuminati Tarot deck to pull your energies. And we have the death card. So Scorpio, you definitely showed up in your reading. Next to it, we have um, temperance, which is Sagittarius energy. So some of you could be trying to temper and um, balance out a situation. You need to... Um, have some patience with yourself and with the situation. You could also be dealing with a Sagittarius or have it in your chart, you, your person, or both. Um, someone clearly needs to make a decision on a situation. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy because somebody is holding on to two things. Um, and we have the Five of Swords. So this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So someone uh, feels like they got one up over on you. Someone is gloating over a situation and someone that is definitely a defeatist attitude to take in any situation regarding love or happiness. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy, Leo to be exact. Someone is um, not taking action, but they are in the thought process of how to take action. This is a king, so this person, male or female, is not going to just jump into anything, but they will take action. Um, this person knows what they want. They go after it. They're very passionate about what is, whatever it is that they want. But somebody either is single in this situation, will become single in this situation, is what I'm getting, because at the bottom of the right of weight that I'm going to use to do your reading, Scorpio, um, we have the nine of... 
um, Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So someone could be very single, um, very um, focused on their finances, living a good life, um, could be very carefree, very attractive, smelling good, looking good, living well, living their best life. Somebody could have a bird or a pet. And for some of you specifically, but not everybody, somebody definitely has a falcon as a pet. What is the messages for my Scorpios? What is their energy, please? Damn, y'all got a lot of cards coming out. Please stop. <laughs> There's a lot of messages. But if they're meant to come out, I, I take them all. So I don't shortchange you on your messages. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So someone could be spying on you. Somebody could be watching you. You could be dealing with someone that could be younger than you, um, Scorpio. This could be either you or your person. But somebody is definitely taking a look on a situation. Somebody um, is in defense mode. They're standing their ground. We have the Seven of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And somebody is definitely um, standing their ground on a situation. They're defending themselves or they're defending their position in this situation. Either you or them. Take it how it resonates. Um, we have the judgment card. So... Scorpio, you have either um, called judgment or want reconciliation for a situation or either they have called judgment on a situation or the divine could have called judgment on a situation regarding this um, relationship between the two of you. But I feel like somebody definitely wants reconciliation. Somebody may have gone through a transformation, um, Scorpio. And I'm also picking up that someone did pass. And someone is trying to get a balance of their emotions. They're still holding on to someone, this this loved one that has passed away. And um, instead of the Five of Swords um, feeling like there's a smirk or energy, and this is not going to be for everybody, but those um, that it does resonate that someone passed, um, someone played a hand in this person's death. Um, and they're feeling a lot of satisfaction secretly about it which is very cruel. Um, for others of you, this person is feeling a lot of um, conflict with their thoughts. Um, even though they're appearing like, you know, they feel like uh, they got one over on you, secretly they're feeling they're having conflict with their thoughts. The next card I have is the Eight of Pentacles. So, um Somebody could have had judgment called on them, and this is not going to resonate for everybody either. Um, somebody may want reconciliation in a situation, but the one that is not going to resonate for everyone is someone has caught an STD, and I mean a nasty STD. And this was judgment for your, uh, this was judgment for how you were living your life, is what I'm being told. Don't hate the messenger. Just hear the message because somebody was uh, very reckless, very, um, very hoish in the situation. Someone and I hate to I'm going to find another phrase for that because I don't really want to say hoish because people have their reasons as to why they show up, how they show up in their own life and on other people's life. I feel like this person is someone that is jaded, someone that's been hurt, someone that has um, been broken. And this person does not trust to be in a relationship, so they're in and out of people's lives. And this could be either you, um, Scorpio, or it could be your person. Next, we have is the temperance card, which we have yet again here. So somebody is definitely trying to um, balance their emotions out in this situation. This could be you or them or both. And for those of you that um, got the STD, um, you're having patience and you're praying to an angel um, that you're praying to God, really, that um, he will find mercy on your soul 
and that this is not a permanent STD. You're being treated for it, though. The next card is your card, Scorpio, the death card. So you went through a massive transformation, Scorpio. You went through a major death and rebirth because I have the Scorpio card here twice. So some of you Scorpios have gone through a major transformation in your life, in your love relationship. You have cut out some things as the King of Swords. You have uh taking a stance where you have a head over heart gemini libra aquarius energy where you have taken a head over heart situation and um you became very analytical and you started slicing and dicing everything and everyone that did not serve a purpose in your life and the judgment was called on a third party situation this could be people places or things this could be a relationship this could be um, um, a third party situation. This could have been a marriage or a long term committed relationship. The next card is the Hermit. And this was Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo for the Three of Pentacles. Um, we have the Hermit card. So some of you that are, um, that got a uh, sexually transmitted disease, some of you are, you have retreated, you have. Um, taking time to journey into self to get more clarity and guidance in the situation. You've retreated from this situation that um, brought on the STD. And for others of you, um, you stepped away from a situation. Maybe you have been working too much. Maybe you needed to take some time away from work. Some of you could be working from home. Um, I'm, I'm hearing and um, you're working very hard but it you retreated from a situation in any of in any event maybe you are thinking about um a new source of of a way to generate income and the next card we have is the 9 of swords gemini libra aquarius energy and the hermit is virgo i'm sorry so some of you could be dealing with a virgo or have virgo in your chart or both of you could but a lot of you who got an STD, you're very um, anxious, you're very stressed out at night, you cannot sleep, you can't eat, you're way up in your head about this. Some of you are hiding the fact that you have the STD because you have a partner and some of you are um, retreating from having sex with your partner at this time because you're afraid that your partner will find out that you have a sexually transmitted disease. The next card that came out is the Eight of Wands. So Spirit is speaking to you and communicating with, with you about um, having patience with this whole situation, this whole scenario. And um, they're trying to get you to find um, patience and balance in this situation. And for others of you, where this um, sexually transmitted disease is, you're waiting for the outcome, the test results of whether or not this is HIV or not. And that's not for everybody. Um, the next card is the Queen of Pentacles. So some of you could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And for others of you, you could be having to tell either your wife your mother or your significant partner that you are STD positive or HIV positive, but you're praying that you don't have to. But um, this person is loving, they're caring, they're nurturing, but they might be closed off at this present time. Um, this person could be closed off, focusing heavily on their finances at this point. They may have turned their back on you because so many things are hidden in a situation. We have the moon card, Pisces energy, I say cancer. So some of you could be dealing with a cancer because cancer is moon energy. Cancer uh, represents the moon. Um, this is the mother of the zodiac. So some of you could definitely um, be dealing with um, your counterpart, your person, 
that you are keeping things hidden from. Some of you could have um, something just as basic as the crabs. Um, but there is some justice that's coming in this situation, whether it's karmic justice or legal justice. Some of you could possibly be going through a divorce because there was a lot of, or you could be dealing with a Libra because there was a lot of lies and deception and betrayal in a situation. Um, either you, this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Some of you may have this in your chart. You could be dealing with a person that has it in theirs, or this could be the both of you. And somebody um, is getting some type of legal justice or karmic justice where this lies and deception and betrayal where love was concerned because we have the Knight of Cups. But somebody wants to come back in and offer love. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. And they are definitely spying on you, uh, Scorpio. So let's go ahead and pull your messages because you had a big reading. What is the messages for why is the seven of wands here for Scorpio. What is the messages and what is the energies, please? We have the Eight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. So someone is walking away with a very sad heart. Somebody is definitely walking away because I have two walking away cards. One, you were very defensive or either your person was very defensive towards a spiritual awakening, something that was very heartbreaking, something was very painful. And along with it, you have the six of swords. So you're definitely leaving a choppy situation to calm the waters. So I'm feeling that some of you went through a spiritual awakening next to that judgment card. Why is... The judgment card here for my Scorpios. What is the messages and what is the energies, please? God damn. I got a lot of messages, Scorpio. Somebody is feeling trapped in this situation because at the bottom of the deck, I have the Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, judgment was called on a situation because um, somebody felt left out in the cold. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Somebody could have ended up being homeless in this situation. They possibly could have a child or maybe um, Scorpio, you guys lost your home in a situation. Um, maybe someone lost their job, was not able to um, keep up the finances. And for some of you specifically, um, this is like a loan, a mortgage company where um, you were working to pay, but you were still too far behind. And um, they finally finally foreclosed on some of you's home. Now, that's not going to resonate for every Scorpio, but it will for some, uh, maybe just one person specifically. But in the time span, um, somebody definitely felt left out in the cold. They felt like nobody was there for them in their time of need. So judgment was called on a situation. We have the Ten of Pentacles. So this could definitely have caused an ending in a long-term committed relationship or a marriage where there was a third party. Somebody felt left out in the cold, Scorpio, possibly either you or your person um, because it's right above the Three of Pentacles. So someone definitely felt left out in the cold in this situation. Somebody wants to manifest love back into this relationship. For others of you, someone is working hard to try to manifest um, another source of income to help possibly save that home or be able to repurchase their home before it's fully foreclosed on. And where the love is concerned, someone is definitely manifesting love because in the past, or presently, there was not enough reciprocity. Somebody was um, um, dealing with a one-sided relationship because the, somebody was already married or in a long-term committed relationship and somebody was getting the short end of the stick. They were getting crumbs. You were being crumbed. Either you were crumbing somebody, Scorpio, or they were crumbing you. And this also caused financial delays and setbacks. Every time you dealt with this person, or either this person dealt with you, your anxiety was at an all-time high. Communication was not um, balanced, and it was um, 
unclear communication. Some of the communication could have been hidden. Some of the communication could have been very deceptive. Um, somebody could have been very judgmental in their way of speaking towards either you or them, Scorpio. And it left somebody feeling very stuck and very trapped in their head about this situation. But somebody's moving fast. I can tell you that. What is the messages for Scorpio? What is the energies, please? You have a message coming in, Scorpio. Somebody's going to take action. Um, this could be the news that you've been waiting on for the results from your STD panel test. Um, this could be um, messages um, from somebody that's been heavily focused on work. Um, this could be another um, work from home opportunity for someone. But somebody is definitely going to take action or somebody is receiving a message. And we have the world card here. So there has been a completion on the cycle. So whatever you have been involved in, Scorpio, the, the world card is here. So this cycle has completed. So on top of it, in order for you to go to this new love or receive this new love, you have to close one door before you can open another door. Otherwise, this is going to be a repeated cycle of a lesson. Yeah, this person is walking death. Whoever this person is that um, came into your um, life, Scorpio, this person lies and betrays everybody that they come around. This person is very broken. This person is very damaged. This person is almost narcissistic in their uh, behavior, but they're very stressed out. Whatever this is, um, Scorpio, some of you could be um, dealing with a divine counterpart as well is what I'm feeling too that um, is definitely uh, damaged, wounded, and has a lot of trauma uh, bonding. Some of you could have trauma bonded with this person in a very short period of time, um, maybe 10 days, 10 weeks, 10 months, but um, max 10 years, but Somebody could have been in and out of your life for 10 years. Um, and this last year, you know, you were playing Russian roulette with this person. You love them or, um, or vice versa. And somebody ended up giving somebody um, an STD, a very serious STD. Why is temperance here for Scorpio, please? What is the energies and what is the messages? We have the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. A lot of people say um, Scorpio. So Scorpio, you could have been dealing with another Scorpio that did this to you or you did this to them. Um, the angel is um, working with them to have temperance and balance. This person could be very intuitive, very gifted. Um, this person does not wear their emotions on their sleeves. And this person has got like one foot to step out to take action. And, um, you know, this person can be very authoritative too. Um, they could be very poker face. So you don't really know what you're getting with this person. And this person could have been offering uh, love. Either you could have been offering love um, or they want to offer love. Something small, something tentative. But be very careful because um, this person, this could be another person. and This could be a Pisces that could be coming through that's offering love. But you could end up being pregnant, um, either you or them. And I have the emperor down at the bottom of the deck. So some of you could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus or have you, you guys could have this in your chart. Your person could or both. But um, someone definitely wants to come in and take control of this situation. Either you or them, Scorpio. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here for Scorpio, please? 
damn, your cards are coming out two at a time and it's four of them. So this could be a past life soulmate that you could be dealing with, um, Scorpio. This is someone that you could have been married to or in a long-term committed relationship or they could have been in a long-term committed relationship. I have the Five of Swords again. I have the Five of Swords here in the Illuminati Tarot deck as well as this deck. So you could have been dealing with someone that was very arrogant, very cocky, very condescending, very egotistical, um, very conflicted. So we have two fives on the board right now. So that's definitely a message possibly for um, someone. And I have two sevens on the board. So sevens also represent completions and sevens also represent spirituality. So you definitely could have had an awakening. Um, you could be being um, guided or you could be hearing the call to come forward towards this person or them you, or you could be dealing with someone that is already in a marriage and your person that is, let me say this correctly, the person that is the third party person to some, to either you Scorpio or you them, someone feels like they got one over on the other person. And somebody is definitely waiting for their ships to come in. So this could be for some of you waiting to, and for a few small of you, this person does this deliberately. Whomever this person is, and this may not resonate for all of you, but this person that goes around with the STDs, they don't give a fuck. And they will lie and deny it. Every step of the way. I have the four of cups here. And the three of wands. Wow. Why is justice here for Scorpio? What is the messages and what is the energy, please? Some of you may actually know the person that did this to you and you're taking them to court too. And you're charging them with attempted murder. Now that ain't going to resonate for everybody. But that is a message. Yeah. Y'all, some of y'all went to court, got truth, got justice in a situation where somebody was denying that they didn't give it to you. And this person was tested. For others of you, you're getting truth about a love situation um, that you have a new opportunity and a new start in love. This could be from a divine counterpart. And for others of you, you don't want this love offer because it's a third party uh, situation. Um, for others of you, this is going to be a celebration of this new love offer that's coming in. It could be from another water sign because I got a lot of water out here, a lot of water. So you could be dealing definitely, some of you could be definitely dealing with another water sign where there's going to be a reconciliation, a celebration, and this is going to bring justice to you, Scorpio, or you, them, or both. But um, this could be karmic justice that's coming through, and it's going to be wish fulfillment for some of you because I have the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Why is the Death card here again for Scorpio, please? What is the messages and what is their energies? When you went through this transformation and this death and rebirth, um, Scorpio, you felt trapped and stuck in a situation, but you walked away. You finally left. You left this situation. It was a choppy situation. You wanted to get to Kama Waters. So after you went through this death and rebirth, I mean, you got the hell on fast too and got victory for it. Some of you, um, after you left this a situation that was a third party situation, um, this is pertaining more to the person that works at home. You just brought a brand new car. Lexus is what I'm hearing and BMWs. Lexuses and BMWs. Some of you have been saving your money and you bought this vehicle. 
And for others of you, once you got the truth and clarity in the situation and you got justice, you could finally walk away feeling um, victorious and moving on with your life. Why is the King of Swords here for Scorpio, please? You got the strength that you needed. You could have been dealing with a Scorpio or have it in your chart um, in order to walk away from this situation that left you feeling stuck in trap. I have the strength card here. That's Leo energy. So some of you could be dealing with a Leo. I have Leo card here yet again. This is um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, but this is Leo. Um, so some of you could have taken action like a Leo and found strength to finally get out of the situation in your head where you were stuck and trapped, where you felt like you couldn't make a move. And you took control of the situation and you moved forward like the emperor. You gained all your strength back to move forward. Or you could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Okay. The world card signifies completions on this third party situation or um, this relationship or marriage. Whatever this was, the cycle is here and it closed out on the cycle with um, someone that seemed very arrogant. Um, they could also um, be harsh in their um, behavior and actions. This person has money. Um, King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This person is very focused, heavily focused on finances. This could be you too, Scorpio. Maybe once the cycle closed, you focus heavily on your finances. Some of you are very uh, wealthy or you're dealing with someone that has a great deal of money. Um, or if they don't have a great deal of money, they're on their way to having that. Or they have the capability of generating great wealth. But I feel like this person already has this money. Um, this person... Um, is looked up to by their societal peers. This is somebody people come to seek wise counsel and get sound advice from. So you could be dealing with someone that could have been married because it is, excuse me, sitting on um, the uh, the three of pentacles. So, and the world card here, that signifies endings and beginnings. So someone could have went through a divorce this could have been an ugly situation is what I'm being told too. Um, and somebody may have used their money to leverage a situation for influence, to help influence the outcome, but it didn't work in their favor. Harsh, reprim harsh reprimands. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Why is the Hermit card here for Scorpio? So we definitely have some counterparts on the board because I do have the King of um, Swords here and now the Queen of Swords is showing up. So someone got truth and clarity in a situation and became like a Virgo. They retreated. They went within and got truth and clarity and wisdom in a situation so they could use their discernment to cut out whatever was no longer serving a purpose in their life, either you or them. And the Father Divine assisted you with this. This is Pisces energy or you're dealing with a Pisces that has taken time out to gain higher clarity and a different level of, pers uh, to gain a different perspective in this situation, either you or them or both. Why is the Nine of Swords here for Scorpio? Damn, Scorpio, you got a big ass reading, yo. You have... The Ace of Pentacles. So some of you are worried that um, you're not going to have a new financial um, beginning, that your stability is in question of a situation, um, that all of your hard work, you could feel like maybe um, somebody, um, maybe you went into business with someone and you feel like they backstabbed, betrayed and lied and deceived you and cut you out of a new start a new portion of the venture that you guys were both involved in. But for others of you, somebody's having sleepless nights about maybe money that they're going to have to pay out in a situation as well. Why is the Eight of Wands here for Scorpio?
We have two sets of counterparts on the board, the Queen of Wands and the King and Queen of Swords. So you could possibly be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Leo, um, predominantly, that wants to communicate with you. Either you want to send some level of passionate communication or take action to communicate with this person, or you want this person to communicate with you. And we still also have this King of Cups here. So there could have been multiple people involved in this. This was a lot going on. Um, I'm getting not only celebrations, but open relationships. Some of you um, were dealing with people that um, there was no um, real true commitment in relationships and marriages. And I also have, um, this is also my 1111 card too. The sister wives or wife swapping, whatever the fuck it was, it, it didn't work. It didn't work. But for others of you, you could be dealing with a queen of wands, someone that is very intuitive, very passionate, very attractive, knows what she wants. She goes after it and she gets it. Um, she could be very spiritual. And some of you may end up being in a long-term committed relationship with this person. Either you're going to offer marriage to this fire sign or this fire sign, this Leo, is going to offer marriage to you, male or female, or something long that's stable. Why is the moon card here, please, for Scorpio? We have the Two of Cups. So there was a hidden love here. There was a secret love. And um, for some of you, you had to retreat, take a break. Some of you may have broken up from this situation. But um, somebody was hiding that they were dealing with a soulmate. There's a hidden soulmate. This could have been a lot of the reasons why there was a lot of lies, deception, and betrayal. We have the Five of Cups. So somebody is definitely remorseful for their behavior and their actions. Somebody definitely regrets putting someone in a third party situation and hurting this person. Um, they regret that, you know, that they did not think clearly about this situation. Um, they caused this great level of harm all due to wanting a passionate new start, but somebody may get a passionate new start in this situation. My apologies. I was referring to somebody was uh, running around here like King Dingling. A Miss Queen Cooch, but um, in any event, somebody um, wants a passionate new beginning with you, and you're being called to take no action to use and listen to your intuition and let your intuition guide you. The high priestess is here, and again, this could also signify secrets, a mistress that somebody is having a passionate, um, a passionate new start with. This could be the soulmate of Pisces or the Leo. Why is the Knight of Cups here for Scorpio? What are the messages for Scorpio, please? Hmm. We have the devil card. So some of you could have been dealing with a Capricorn that was trying to offer you love in a situation, or you found out that this love offer is toxic, codependent, it's full of addictions, uh, a lot of conflict, a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing. Some of you could have been dealing with someone that was at work. That's my coworker card. So there could have been a lot of temptation at work that created a lot of conflict. Um, somebody could have gotten pregnant in a situation. 
Um, this also can uh, signify somebody um, wanting to renew and um, wanting to renew love again with uh, someone. And this could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with. At the bottom of the deck, somebody is rushing in to communicate this. This could be harsh communication for some of you. Or you could be the one that's giving harsh communication. But somebody is not taking any action at this point. This might be just something that they're thinking about. Because somebody is definitely wounded, guarded, and injured in this situation. Could still be healing. But there is an offer that is coming. But it is slow. But it will be something stable. But in the meantime, they are lurking. They're watching. They want this Ten of Cups. Either you want it, they want it, or you both do. And this could be someone that's definitely from your past. Past life soulmate. Because we do have the soulmate card here and there. And like I said, some of you may be dealing with a twin or high-level soulmate. Um, but somebody has definitely became single in this situation. Someone wanted wish fulfillment. And this could have been someone too, um, for those of you who were dealing with somebody that was less than what they should have been. Um, this person was very proud, very egotistical, very arrogant, very controlling too, because the emperor is there again. This person could have been almost to the point um, of narcissistic, but not. Um, and also, we have the wish fulfillment because here it comes. The victory. This is union for some of you. A very small few of you. That's union. You're having victory. You went through the worst of it. And you're getting ready to go into union with your divine counterpart. There it is. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Take you how it resonates. They're going to come in and start with a small offer. They're going to try to keep their uh, lid on a control of their emotions. But there is going to be happiness. There could possibly be a baby. Could be dealing with a Leo, Divine. But there was heartbreak in the past. Definitely heartbreak. And it caused a tower moment between you guys. Major transformation. Major. Because someone was very uh, very indecisive. They were juggling. Rocking the boat. And it caused somebody to take a leap of faith. Someone had a decision to make about their divine counterpart. Whether to uh, leave that situation and go into their union. Because this union is destined and fated. Somebody had to get past the illusions of all the options that they thought that they had because all of those options weren't good. They found out that they were toxic and disease ridden and it caused somebody to take a great step back and focus heavily on their finances. So some of, and I'm feeling like for the uh, divine feminine, divine masculine, um, for the, the, fem um, the feminine collective, um, this is you that has stepped back to heavily focus on your finances and it is causing your divine masculine to do the same. He is mirroring your image of what you are doing. Um, the divine has stepped in to assist. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. There was a lot of burdens and stress with this situation. It caused a lot of upheaval in this union. And for those that are not, um, it caused a lot of stress in your relationship, in your marriage, um, because somebody was not seeing something very clearly and they needed to make a choice. So let's go ahead and get into your Oracle readings. Yeah, a lot of messages to come through Scorpio. Let's do the uh, angel oracle I've already uh, blessed and shuffled all of these decks what is the messages in love for my scorpion my scorpionic friends can you please give me a message for my scorpios please
You don't want to tell me shit about y'all for your love life. Keeping it under wraps. What is the messages and love for my Scorpios? Here they come. Heart to heart conversations is one. Honestly discuss your feelings. There you go. They were trying to hide them, but they couldn't stay here for long. So we have heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. The next one came out was release your ex. The time has come for you to clear your energy. And codependency, we mentioned that. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. We spoke of that. And stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And at the bottom of the deck, we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So this is definitely a message for you um, out here with your standard soulmates, your karmic soulmates, and your higher level soulmates, divine masculines, divine feminines, twin flames. Let's go with the Earth Magic Oracle so we can get a message from them. Can you give me a message for my Scorpionic friends, please? The new, the new moon, this Virgo moon brings promise of love and happiness for you Scorpios with a lot of passion. Ooh la la. And it is asking you to just do nothing. Be still. The full moon brings in promise, family. Let's go with the energy oracle deck. What messages can you give me for my Scorpionic friends, please? <clears throat> Some of you could be dealing with hostilities towards your person or your person towards you. We have a two and a six. Twenty-six is eight. That's movement. And we have eight yet again, so... 88, some of you guys might be seeing 88 in a situation. Others of you um, are still very indecisive about a situation. And we have 33, which is a six, is door to romance. But be careful because it could be unbalanced because six is imbalanced. Um, but you do have door to romance. So let's pull from the Ascended Masters and see what messages your Ascended Masters have to offer you Scorpios. What are the messages? Ooh. Twin flame. There it go. I already said some of y'all were twins. So it's definitely there. And it says you can do it at the bottom of the deck. Archangel Michael. Hot damn. You go, Michael. That's my dude. I rocks with him. I fucks with him the long way because he fucked with me the long way. Choose peace. I'm not fucking with that name. But they said choose peace. That's what one of your ascended masters said. Um, artistic expression. Paul the Venetian. So some of you are very artistic, very creative. And some of you will be able to work from home. I'm hearing graphic designers. So some of you could be graphic artists and designers. And this is going to create great abundance for you guys. And detach from drama without a doubt. Please do. Pallas Athena. And find the blessings in your current situation from Krishna. So you're being guided basically to look within. And some of you, again, are twin flames. A genus if I'm saying that correctly, and freedom from Hina. So some of you need to, like I said, release your ex. It is time for you to clear your energy so you can have this freedom, so you no longer feel like the Eight of Swords. It's time for you to move forward, family. Last but not least, let's do the Archangel Oracle deck. This is my favorite. Can you give me the messages that my Scorpionic friends need to hear from the angels, please? Thank you. And we have one that says breathe. 
Oh, no, 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 no. My bad, guys. Comfort is at the bottom of the deck. Archangel Azrael, I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. So you guys are getting help from Archangel Azrael to help heal your heart. And you also have Archangel Michael here. You have him not once, but you have him twice because um, Archangel Michael is the, um, the angel of balance. Hello from heaven. Archangel Azrael, your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. But so for those of you who have lost others that have crossed over, they are letting you know that they are doing just fine. They say hello. And divine order. Archangel Raguel, everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. And this is where we talked about... Um, which one is it specifically? Um, to me, these coincide together. Find the blessings in your situation. So it's asking you to look past all of the other things that are not in your favor. And last but not least, beloved one, Archangel Tremuel, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So... Don't worry, stop being in the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Five of Cups. Focus on being happy, healing, loving, and have courage and have faith. And don't forget to have hope. And also, if nothing else, start with yourself. Love. All right, Scorpios. I hope this message resonated for one Please like, comment, subscribe, share with your family and friends. You can find me on Instagram as Ascended Twin 144K. You can find me as Nikita Kelly on Facebook. And you can find me here on YouTube as Ascended Twin 144K. I love you, soul family. Y'all take good care of yourselves. And peace.